Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, well, I should say this. We are gonna be off-roading in the Raptor today. Unfortunately, the ZR2, we've been waiting on truck parts forever. Literally like eight weeks we've been waiting on these truck parts to come in. It finally came in this week. We thought we were gonna button everything up. It just didn't quite get done. So, we're gonna be taking the Raptor out today. Um, we're actually out on Bitter Springs Road, um, out in like the, the Lake Mead area, and it's, it's really discreet. So, if you're driving on this road, it just, it literally just comes out of nowhere. Boom, there's a money zooming on that little side. That says Bitter Springs Road on the other side. So, this road takes you from Lake Mead all the way over to Valley of Fire. Um, I've, I've never gone all the way through on this road before, so this will be our first time. So, hopefully the, the trail's wide enough for the Raptor. But we're gonna go out, go do a little bit of trail cruising, um, and see where this little journey takes us. Enjoy. Guys, so we're running 34 PSI on our tires right now. We probably could air down lower, but I feel like 34 is a good happy medium so we can still drive on the highway without feeling all squirrely. But drop a comment what you guys like to leave your PSI at. I think 34, 35 is, is kind of the sweet spot if you gotta do some long distance traveling on pavement after off-roading. So, but I'd love to hear what everybody's thoughts are on the uh, on their what they like to run on their PSI. We're running a 35 inch tire, so 17 inch rim. So drop a comment. Let us know what uh, what PSI you guys like to run if you have to drive a long distance home on pavement without airing up. Guys, we're sneaking up on a wild stallion. I think it's a stallion. We gotta check his nuts. If he has nuts, he's a stallion. But this is one of the cool things about coming out here, guys, is they literally got wild horses cruising these parts. Distance, don't bother him. But I think it, I thought he was eating his own food. I can't tell if that's a male or a female. Oh, it's definitely a male. <laughs> wow. How cool is that? That's dope. Wild horse. Funny. I am now. Section that we've arrived at. The little horsey. God, I want to give him a name, but that's something's not, it's not coming to me. But at this crossroads, guys, Valley of Fire Road, that's where we're headed, 26 miles. So we're going to head in this direction, go around that bend, see where this little journey takes us. That's what we named him Charlie, the Mojave Stallion, dude. Charlie, the Mojave Stallion, brother. Stay safe, my guy. It's gonna start getting real fucking hot. No. Later, Charlie. Oh, look at this one. Whoa, this one's running with us. Wild horse, dude. Wow, look at this one with the all black mane, dude. That's my boy. Oh, yeah. That guy's sick. Damn, that guy's sick. 
Live with the shaggy mane, dude? All black with the black hooves? Oh, yeah. Bro, if we had to domesticate one of these, which one would you pick? The, I, that, I pick one, that one, bro, with the black hooves no and way, everything. No that one's mine. I already picked him, bro. Oh, okay, okay, one. okay. Which Shoot. one? This one? <laughs> They're or, literally or, the or same. Or Charlie. Yeah, no, that one and this one look exactly I'll get Charlie. Same. You take Charlie? Yeah. Dude, I, dude, I feel like he's, that's Rambo. Ah, uh, yes. Rambo kind of goes hard, bro. He got the black, black feet and the black hair, dude. Oh, that guy's, that guy's half chubbed. Half chubbed. Oh, dude. Damn, Rambo's <laughs> sick, bro. Yeah, I would take Rambo, bro. You take Charlie. Oh, yeah. Oh, they put rocks here so you don't, so you don't climb it. Ha. I'll res we'll respect that, dude. Deteriorating the map. It's too small for us anyways. <laughs> wow. Bro. Same with those ones, too. We're about probably a third of the way through the trip. Pretty mellow. It's just a really nice, gentle cruise all the way out here. I mean, you could. Oh, look, there goes a Jeep. Money? Look to your right. There goes a Jeep right there. Uh, yep. So, but we've been, we're probably about a third of the way through the trek and uh, we just stumbled across this little den. This thing was cold. So I guess this would be a good place if you ever got 
stranded out here, you can come get shelter. Ding dong. Number, dude. Nine. Nine. Dude, this is what this was your entrance every morning. Oh, that'd be dope, right? Yeah. There's a big ass hole over here. I didn't know you just saw it. Yeah. Like, what if they try making? What if they try making another one? Yeah, you saw it too. It's like right over here somewhere. This is like a, this is like 15 degrees cooler in here. Oh really? yeah. Let's look at this one. Do me too. Bro, this is so much more secure. Yeah, I would stay in this one, and the other one would just be like the living room kitchen. I'm looking at this one, like there's either a fucking predator in there, or just another spot they carved out. Guys, we found a big horn sheep. Guys, we just saw a big horn sheep. <laughs> All the way. She was just around here. There you go. I don't know if y'all can see it. Money, there he goes. Damn, look how big his horns are, dude. I know. Hey, bud. Don't run away. Damn. Hey, bud. Money, we found him. No. The Golden State or the Silver State gem. Okay, guys, this was not planned, which is usually how this happens. <laughs> but look at him on the skyline now. Wow. Yeah, I hope you'll see that. We're just a beautiful beast, dude. Look at him turning at us. Wow. That is cool, man. That is freaking cool. Fuck. Money, high Go. five. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Finally. Nice. We were just talking literally five seconds nice. ago how there's no big horn sheep, and then this one comes out. He's all by himself too. I know. You did it, Money. Down.
Sacred Owl. Sacred Owl. Oh yeah. It'd be cool when, when it's raining really hard. Like all this would be filled in with water. Oh yeah. God damn, this is the most green, natural green I've wow. seen. This is sick. Wow, you can see all the water just flows right to here. Yep. to step on any of them bro <laughs> oh yeah damn it's so dope that's how I was thinking I was like let's see what's on top of here I was a little climbing these so much fun. Oh. No. I'll just find that bee's nest. Oh, damn. It's untouched. By humans, that is. Ooh. I'll say this looks like a path. Oh yeah.